TSMC is the world's largest semiconductor foundry, and it manufactures chips for a wide range of companies, including Apple, AMD, Broadcom, Nvidia, Qualcomm, and many more. TSMC's success is due to its focus on research and development, its commitment to quality, and its ability to scale its manufacturing operations to meet the growing demands for chips. This April marks a milestone in TSMC's development, the 30th anniversary of its North American Technology Symposium, introducing a number of industry-leading technologies into the roadmap. And in this video, we're going to cover some of those key announcements and their importance in the future of chip design. So to start, let's go for the headline topic, leading edge process node technology. While other foundries have plotted a course to 2030 and beyond, we've, see, we've been sitting on the edge of our seats to see what TSMC will have in the latter half of this decade. We know about TSMC N4, which is in high volume production right now, and TSMC N3, which is being used in, on the leading edge smartphone silicon, as well as a few other key designs. And previous roadmaps have announced TSMC N2 as the generation beyond, where the company will introduce nanosheet transistors for the first time, adding complexity, but also improving density, performance, and power. After this is where the announcement is, TSMC's A16. While N2 notionally stood for two nanometer class, the A in A16 stands for angstrom class. And now, while these aren't measurements of anything actually in silicon relating to how we build transistors today, A16 is integrating the company's second generation of nanosheet transistors with a new super power rail architecture. This allows chip designers to focus on signaling on one side of the chip and power on the other side, increasing density and performance while reducing losses of both power and signal due to interference. TSMC's A16 is being targeted for high performance computing applications, which is anything from smartphones to chips in AI to chips in machine learning and everything else, with planned production of this in 2026. For those physically at the symposium, expect to hear some interesting data around TSMC has executed its R&D strategy to enable nanosheet transistors, this new super power rail and A16 process to its high volume manufacturing ramp. One of the other strategies in modern chip design to increase density is to reduce the number of fins on your transistors. However, there's a trade-off. Fewer fins typically means higher density, but lower peak performance, or a restrictive variability observed after manufacturing. With TSMC N3, the company introduced its concept of FinFlex, showcasing multiple sizes of transistors with different voltage power characteristics, optimized for high performance, mid-performance and high density. As I mentioned, TSMC will move to nanosheet transistors with N2 instead of using FinFET, bringing the same flexibility but to a new transistor structure. Additionally, N2 will introduce NanoFlex, the next stage in design technology optimization. This allows for customized transistor cells, meaning high-performance designs can have taller cells with the right combinations of transistors whereas power conscious and density focused cores and IP can run shorter cells to take advantage of another angle of efficiency. Tall cells and short cells can be combined in the same design block, enabling customers and software to tune the design to specific power performance and silicon area requirements. No other company is talking about any sort of similar configurability in their process design kits publicly, showcasing TSMC is meeting customers where they need to be. At the previous symposium, we saw details on how the different N3 FinFlex options performed with standard IP and core designs. For those at the event this year, we expect to see more details on how N2 NanoFlex extends the opportunities onto the next generation process node. Packaging is also a key aspect of TSMC's portfolio. It's hard not to notice the strong demand for TSMC's COOS, chip on wafer and substrate technology. NVIDIA, AMD, Intel, and others are already using the biggest designs available at mass production, and TSMC has a roadmap to extend how many chiplets and HPM stacks can be put together in COOS and other technologies. And it's the other technologies I want to focus on, because at this year's event, TSMC highlighted a new system on wafer, or SOW technology, that moves things forward even more. 
This is where we talk about wafer scale designs that will build a wafer size system with the ability to power the largest AI supercomputers in the world. CSMC is describing this as enabling a large array of dies on a 300 millimeter wafer to offer an order of magnitude performance and power benefits over current chip and chiplet style architectures. The wafer scale market requires a complete system offering, not just a chip, and TSMC says its first SOW offering is already in production. That's using traditional info packaging to a degree, with a COOS-like variation coming to the market in 2027. For those on the ground at the event, this is going to be exciting, especially if TSMC opens up about the types of designs they're already enabling and how to start thinking about next generation silicon. I mean, imagine if we have wafer scale Blackwell, right? The last key section of the symposium is silicon photonics. While TSMC has played in the logic part of this market, it hasn't yet promoted a dedicated in silicon technology to enable integrated photonics, ideally for large all to all connected machine learning systems. At the show, TSMC is lifting the lid on COOP, the Compact Universal Photonics Engine, a packaging technology that allows photonic and logic silicon to be stacked using the latest hybrid bonding and heterogeneous integration technologies. This means it can lower die-to-die -die power consumption and offer higher bandwidth than other market offerings. As always, TSMC's Technology Symposium is a flurry of exciting presentations and more data points than you can shake a stick at. Usually, I'm in the front row during the press presentations and keynotes, and if you're one who wants to find out more and you are a TSMC partner or customer, then think of signing up to the event to get a close-up look of the future of semiconductors.